pretty puny in the last few days, yesterday and today. I had a spell this evening. I thought I was about ready to pass away from here. I don't know when God's going to call me home, but whenever my time comes, I don't want to be dragging back. And another time, I was so near dead that God lifted off of the bed, and I'm here in the midst, in the prayers, by the prayers of people. I was dying, uh, that was the last of February, best I remember, the last week in February, that I thought I was gone. I was really passed away here so fast, it just seemed like it in my mind. I was suffering so bad that my mind was just coming and going when I called them to pray for me. That was to encourage me as I went on my journey. I was leaving here. I was going to the place that we're talking about all the time where there's joy and peace and no suffering and no problem. I thought I was leaving here, Brother Elsie. I thought my ticket was already gone. It was done been read and I, my number call was saying it. But when God spared me and I, I began seeing the, a little vision, a little angel would come to, you, to me of the night. They was about four or five nights that this little girl come to me and brought me a little white bowl, snow white. The little girl was dressed in white and long gone hair. She brought me this little bowl and said, take this and drink it. Well, I had been awful sick. In fact, I went through two major operations just about a year before that. The doctors down here in the Laird Memorial Hospital didn't think that I was coming through the operation, let alone live to get out of there. And when they turned me out of that hospital, they didn't tell me to come back for no checkup. They didn't think I was going to live the two or three weeks to see them again. When I went walking back in six, six months later, they were surprised to see me there. So I thank God for his wonderful power. But when this little girl began bringing me that little bowl, I looked down in it, and I hadn't been able to drink sweet milk for over two years, that it would actually hurt me. So I looked down in it, but in my mind, I didn't think it was going to hurt me. I just looked to see what was in that cup. And she said, take this. This is the eternal life for you. Take it and drink it. Even if you're dead, I don't know what this means. Though you are dead, it won't hurt you. And I took it and did drink it, and it was sweet milk to me. If that was eternal life for me, I want to keep drinking it, brother. But they brought me that. This little girl visited me every night for four or five nights. And I began to get strength and courage. And finally, she brought me a little white dish with meat in it and told me to eat. And when I eat of that, brother, I think that was the fifth night. I told Brother Richardson that I wanted some lamb. <coughs> I wanted him to get me a piece of lamb. And I hadn't been eating any solid food. I think I drank a little chicken broth along for about a month. I wanted the lamb, and I eat it in Jesus' name, and I drank the sweet milk in Jesus' name, and I'm standing here by the prayers of the people, and I know that he healed my body. And I did ask to be healed, not that I might go around visiting some of my neighbors, or not that I might uh, run around to some big party, or see all these sights and scenes. I thank God that he spared me to see the things that I do see. But I do want to be in church.
singing and some testimonies. I, I want you to be right quiet. I've got this to do. But don't do it now. Some of them are about to go, go to go home, and they won't get in on this. Brother Turner's here tonight from Camp Creek. I think it's around 60 or 65 miles, somewhere near, from over there over to here. Brother Turner has a large family, and I'm sure that he can use a good offering tonight. Now, I don't want to wear you and take too much of the time, but I would like to get as much as $50. How many believes we can't? I'll see how many believes there is in here. How many believes we can get? There's one, two, three. Anybody else feels like giving it? We'll accept it. 
now is this thing by is still God's word. Just the same. God's word is just the same. Now you wonder why they fight. I don't know. I, I would like to know myself sometimes. I'd just like to know why things happen the way it does. Thank the Lord. But is God's word just the same? But folks, whether we die by it or whether we live by it, it's still God's word. Now, if you didn't feel like praying and crying for me before this happened, please don't shed these tears now. Everything in Jesus' name, bless your holy, righteous name. Come on. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Yeah. 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 Yeah.